according to an article on Gamelo. And this article was in Chinese, which means the article is going to be translated using Google Translate here. Zenless Zone Zero has managed to accumulate significantly more than anyone ever anticipated. Game Look just typically tends to report on revenue for specific gacha games, Zenless, Wuthering Waves. I think last month they reported Wuthering Waves made like over a hundred million in its first month. People, specifically non-Wuthering Waves players, they stated there is no way that was an accurate representation of its revenue. Now, as of the last three days, Gamelook published a post showing Zenless potentially broke $300 million across mobile, PC, and console. And this revenue, this revenue, people are, for whatever reason, in full support of this revenue people believe. I thought that the potential revenue for Wuthering Waves could have potentially been accurate. I think the potential revenue for Zenless here could potentially be accurate. I'm not going to disregard either because I think both Wuthering Waves and Zenless are very fun games and I think that both games probably make a crap ton of money. When I did my video on Zenless Zone Zero, I said Zenless exceeded my expectations. In that video, commenters told me I was a shill for Hoyo. I was a shill for Zenless. When I decided I was going to cover Wuthering Waves, I, I got called a Kudo shill. I got called a Wuthering Waves shill. I got called a Zenless hater for not covering Zenless more than Wuthering Waves. Even though I've typically been very positive about both games. Regardless of which game I cover, regardless of whether I'm positive about both games, I get called a hater from one of the fandoms, one of the communities. It just, there is absolutely no winning. And either way, I don't care either way, because at the end of the day, both games are doing incredibly well. But what I wanna talk about today is this article in specific, because apparently, as I noted, Gamelook combined data from multiple third-party platforms and found that in July this year, there were six mobile games worldwide whose estimated monthly revenue exerted th exceeded 30 million yuan for the first time. Five of these games are Chinese games from Chinese companies. 30 million yuan, by the way, is $4 million. Okay. The entire month of July was dominated by Tencent, NetEase, and Xiaomi. I don't know what that is. I guess Xiaomi, is that is that supposed to be Hoyo? Because it says the best performance in July is undoubtedly the highly talked about Zero. So Zenless Zone Zero as a new game of Xiaomi. So I'm assuming as a new game from Hoyo. So Tencent, NetEase, and Hoyo are the three Chinese companies that dominated the market. Okay. Was highly anticipated before it was launched in the first month. The estimated revenue on all platforms, including PC and PlayStation around the world, reached an astonishing 2.2 to 2.5 billion, far ahead of others. What is 2.2, what's 2.5 million billion? So 348 million dollars, potentially. I get, I get, you guys can't see this, so let me, let me zoom in a little bit for you. This is the, what Gamelook are reporting. Zenless made across every major platform. That is crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. Can tell if bots are just mental illness, people be worried about being faithful to one game. I know, I know. I am not faithful to any game. If a game does dumb shit, I will talk about it. If a game does something that I am excited for, I will talk about it. That's me, that's how I like to do my channel. Now, I do wanna point out, it does know, all right, that, or at the very least on Gotcha Revenue, which uh, pulls from Sensor Tower, they do list that Zenless in China made 68.8 .8 million and globally made 31 million, totaling roughly $99 million, right? So if let's just say uh, PC revenue is roughly equivalent to mobile revenue and mobile was 100 million, that means PC revenue was 100 million, that brings it up to 200 million and console revenue was say roughly the same, that brings it up to 300 million, which then, Seems very accurate, but I, and I, here is where I think Hoyo were very smart, okay? This is the first time in recorded history of Honkai Star Rail's release and Genshin Impact's release where they have made as little money as they have. This is the first time either game has fallen out of like the top three or both games combined have fallen out of the top three. This is, or at the very least, would be very concerning had Zenless not earned what it did. And 
here is where here, here is why I think they're smart. The reason Honkai Star Rail made so little, the reason Genshin Impact made so little, was that they had banners going on that nobody cared about, that nobody wanted. The reason they had these banners present and active were because Hoyo wanted people to spend in Zenless rather than spending in Honkai Star Rail and Genshin. So in essence, what Zenless did was it cannibalized Honkai Star Rail and Genshin. And this cannibalization was planned. Hoyo made sure that Zenless would achieve maximum revenue by self-sacrificing Star Rail and Genshin for this month specifically, or last month specifically. And future patches are gonna be big for Genshin and Star Rail, no doubt. And they're gonna spike back up, no doubt. But now, people have invested hundreds of millions of dollars into Zenless, they're less likely to quit it, right? Because they've invested money into it. Now they have an attachment to Zenless. So they're smart. They were willing to sacrifice revenue in the short term for two of their big, two of the biggest gacha games in the world. And for the world to see these two games fall significantly from their peaks. So Zenless could gain a foundation and establish itself as probably the number three gacha game under Star Rail and Genshin. Again, very smart, very, very, smart a lot of people won't be able to spend in star rail genshin and zenless right that's why they have it so each game is going to cycle through a two-week patch or each game is going to have a six-week patch but there are going to be two week cycles you know like the first two weeks of june is going to be genshin the second two weeks of june will be star rail the first two weeks of july will be zenless the second two weeks of July will be back to Genshin. There's always going to be a game that has content cycled, that has banner characters available for people to spend on. So there's always going to be one game that people are spending on it. They were willing to sacrifice Star Rail and Genshin in the short term to solidify the placement of Zenless. Fantastic idea. Brilliant approach. And again, according to Game Look, this made $300 million plus, which is absolutely crazy crazy revenue i like i think Zenless is 100 gonna settle at the number three spot maybe number four spot i don't know especially when you look at love and deep space making like 40 plus million <laughs> but uh i definitely believe that Zenless is more of a niche game than genshin and honkai star rail Zenless zone zero in 28 days saw 2.2 2.5 billion yuan as the only true god in july zero was scheduled for july which forced many new games to change their release dates and temporarily avoid the limelight since its launch, the game's reputation in the player community has unexpectedly shown a clear polarization trend. As for whether Zero has become the first high-quality action game among the second-tier games, the answer is different for everyone. Because, let's be honest, reviews for the game are mixed. They are definitely mixed. Some people love it, some people hate it. That's totally understandable. There's no doubt that players have been discussing Zenless since its launch. The journey from the first month's revenue, or results rather, it seems that the crash theory of MiHoYo can be put to rest. Zenless overseas mobile game is around 300 million RMB. As for domestic revenue, it looks like it's 600 to 700. So China has double, like 2.5 times global revenue, has console and PC revenue, especially this time supported by Xiaomi, uh, launched overseas simultaneously. Zenless launched the top 10 of the PlayStation best-selling list in the United States, United Kingdom, France, Germany, Canada, Japan, other countries the day after the public beta, but the performance in Asia was more outstanding. It really was, yeah. GameLook estimates that the total revenue of zero in the first month across all platforms is about 300 to 350 million US dollars. Again, this is just an estimate, though. This is not a confirmation. Every problem with Zenless, but if the fandom says it's better than Wuwa, baby, we do in World War III. I think at the end of the day, it is solely down to the, the kind of game that you prefer. That's it. Right, Zenless is a fun game. Wuwa is a fun game. But there are going to be people that hate both, right? There are going to be people that hate one or the other. There are going to be people that don't hate either, that love both. It's just solely down to preference.